like, well, you can't be in. This is a secure area. You can't be in here. How's it going, guys? Watching the Watchman here. Out with him against it press. Here in Marana, Marana, not sure, uh, Arizona, at the municipal complex. And uh, as usual, we're going to take some video here out in public and on public property and see if the folks respect our First Amendment right to do so. So Marana is a town uh, a little bit outside of Tucson and uh, should be interesting to see how it goes. Today is uh, Thursday, September 16th, 2021. It is 2.20 p.m. and 100 degrees and sunny. So, very nice out. Uh, might be a little too hot for the GoPros to like, so we're probably going to do a little shorter uh, look at the outside of the building and go in quicker. Because uh, the uh, GoPros tend to overheat, uh, even when it's not hot out. I've had it happen in the air conditioning indoors a couple times, so uh, that's 100 degrees isn't going to help. But uh, Here's the main sign here. Yeah, Marana must be bigger than I remember it being, because this is a pretty big uh, complex. Yeah, it's a big building. And these flies out in the desert are brutal, man. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't like that last time we were here. It must be summer. Summer thing, yeah. Last time we were here. There's flies everywhere. everywhere. Very aggressive. February Especially February. out in the middle of, middle of nowhere where we're staying in the RV. Cut through here. Cool. To the town of Marana agendas and notices. Let's go and have a look. After you, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah, they keep it cool in here. Yeah, they do. Nice. Council meetings, elections, public records, and voting information. And I know you do a lot more than that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's, all, it's all centralized here, so you can pretty much find... Oh, very cool. Here. And can I just ask what your name is and what you do here? Yeah, I'm Matt Perot, and I'm the Revenue and Customer Service Manager. Revenue and Customer Service Manager. Very cool. I don't know which one's easier, Revenue or Customer <laughs> Service. <laughs> they all have their perks. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I like the Customer Service part, though. The very customer cool. Service part's awesome. Very cool. Well, the AC feels good in here, I'll tell you I that. Know, I For know. sure. We're supposed to start cooling down, they said, I think, what, next week? I think actually tomorrow, tomorrow. even, it's dropping a little bit, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, probably That's right crazy. when I, I leave. from the rain, like the crazy amount of rain to extreme like, heat, and I'm like, what in the world? Oh, you, there, what, you had a lot of rain? Oh, yeah. Really? A lot of rain. Like, this was a really good monsoon season for us. Well, that's good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, I think it's the best monsoon season we've had since, like, 90. I can't remember exactly. I think it was like maybe four. Wow. So, yeah, pretty good. Does that bring up like the mosquitoes and the flies and Every, all that too? Everything. everything. If you, yeah, if you look around, well, you would have been here probably two weeks ago. Right. The streets were just littered with caterpillars. And then now we have all these butterflies. But it, it was just crazy. You'd be driving down the road and you'd just see thousands of them on the road. Wow, that's cool. That's yeah, pretty yeah. good. Well, hopefully they eat some of the mosquitoes. I know. Right? <laughs> I, wish. Yeah, they're, I know they're eating us up, so. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Well, I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. Appreciate Thank you. Too. you Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah, you, you too. too. We'll do the same. Okay. And can I just ask your name and what you do here? Michelle Bonfilla. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Finance Customer Service. Very good. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. you. Have a great day. Of course, I can. All right, cool. You want to go check out the council chambers? Yeah. Might as well take a look at that. Most of the total. And it is. Right. After you, sir. Cool. Hopefully this door's open. There you go. Uh -huh. yeah. right, wow. Now we got a 
to see if we can find the light switch. And turn my uh, trusty light on here. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Huh? What just happened? I don't know. Put it on lock then. There we go. Cool. Put it on lock then. So it's pretty big. That's pretty cool. They actually they keep all the doors open. I'm sure it's a different situation. It's cool they keep the doors open here. Uh, when the council so far, very chambers are already in use. Uh, unfettered access here. So, uh, as you guys know who follow our channels, I always like to give you a view from the captain's chair here. Let's check that out. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> this meeting is now in order. <laughs> Town of Marana logo looks like. Very cool. That's pretty cool. Little and, tiles. Uh, and mosaic style. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see, we'll to the second floor. Sure. I don't have my watch on today, but I'm still going to take the stairs. And uh, here is your uh, fine selection of healthy snacks and drinks. services. I wonder what that is. That's I think it like said uh, on the door. Building planning. Yeah. So I guess yeah. instead of calling it a uh, planning department, yeah. they call it development services. Yeah. And then there's central permitting. And then this is key access back here. See if we can get one of these ladies to tell us exactly what goes on in this office. Well, I can't hear you. I have a question for you. Have I mean, if we're allowed in, sure, I'll come in. Sorry. Hello, no, no worries. We were not sure what's happening. So. Uh, I never get upset with anybody that's smiling. <laughs> so, no, no worries. Okay. Um, yeah, can you just tell me what your name is and what you do here? Pam Sinfell. I'm a permit clerk. Permit clerk. So, this is basically, I've never heard the term development services, so it's basically like the planning department. It's, it's building safety, planning, and engineering. And we're engineering. All, we're all under one. So would that be like the town engineering, like all the underground stuff too? Or mm -hmm. you handle everything, right? And it's all, it's very cool. Yeah, very cool. Well, I appreciate you explaining that because, like I said, I've never seen development services before. Oh. But I've lived a sheltered life. So. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is it possible that we could just take a look around? Um, I don't know. Who are you? What are you? We're traveling and we're just checking oh. out your city hall. Okay. I don't know if we're supposed to allow you to go back here where we have them. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I, let me go ask. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate you. Were you coming out to talk to us, sir? Uh, just curious to see what's uh, going on. Oh, we're just checking out your building here. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then the uh, young lady, at first she invited us to come back in there, 
And oh. I couldn't hear what she was saying. So then I, she came out. We had a nice little conversation. And I said, if we can go in there and take a look, that'd be great. So she said she was going to go find out from somebody else. Oh, to come back in there? Uh, that's back where staff are. Uh, that's why I was going to say, if you want to go back there, I kind of need to know why you'd want to go back there. Just making a video tour of the building. Purpose of the video tour? We're traveling. Okay. Never, uh, never been in Murano before. Okay. Yeah. Uh, probably, and I think it's an interesting building. Yeah, no, it's a great building. Yeah. I, I think for parts back there, that's where staff are working. If it's something related to town business, then we could probably bring it back there. Far as related to, I mean, as development services, we do construction development application. Per, that's what we're just trying to get us in. And I was even saying the development services thing. Yeah. I never heard that phrase before. Okay. So I, that was my first question. What is that? So I guess it's planning. It's like a planning department somewhere. Planning, else. building, and uh, engineering. So development right. engineering. So yeah, construction development for as far as the town. And I, as I understand. All the town stuff too, like all the underground stuff that's all handled in the same department, like public works, all that type of stuff? Uh, no. So anything that's related to utilities like water, sewer, uh, curb, like the public infrastructure, that's right. handled in public works. Totally different department. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad I asked you again. Yeah. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. What was your name? My name's David. David. My name's Jason. David. Nice to meet you. Clay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Back there is staff stuff. Uh, the only time we really bring people back there is if it's uh, related to a uh, a meeting related to a development you. project, but this is kind of the public area, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I yeah. wouldn't have even asked unless I was invited at first. I should have no, just said yes okay. right away and got back, right? No, that's okay. Uh, they saw cameras and so they came back and asked me, like, there's people in front of cameras. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll come out and see what's going on. So, right, right. Yeah. gotcha. And what is your position here? I'm the building official for the town. Bill so you're the top building guy? Uh, for far as the uh, building side of it, so yeah. Very uh, cool. We have our development services director who's in charge of, obviously, development services, uh, but then far as building that would be me yes gotcha so yeah well very cool construction permitting that kind of stuff well i appreciate all the information sure very cool and we'll go uh, check out the rest of the yeah. building here. no no worries great place to work and they keep it nice and cool in here it is nice and cool nothing wrong with that <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you man thank you have a good day you do well, i tried to get us in there but i couldn't <laughs> So let's go up to the third floor, I guess, right? Oh, very cool. She got human resources, finance department, and legal department. Uh, save them for last. <laughs> finance and legal is always a trip. And this is the mayor and council manager's office. Got a council manager. New, another new term. Your town. Pretty cool. The door's wide open. You see anything that says you can't go in there? No. It's the town manager's office. Mayor's office. That's a nice one. There's the flag. Yeah. Have to remember to check out the flag on the way out. You got the corner office. Hello. It's overexposed. Uh, do you want to check this one? Sure. We shut it because it's so cold. Feel the handle. Oh, I forget my other camera. Go ahead. You have my other camera over here. Thank Just you. Feel, feel that handle. Yeah, it is Surprise? freezing. Yeah. That's crazy. We can't. We can't get regulated. There we go. So oh, cold yeah. is a good thing. Well, not when you feel the handle in the room. <laughs> it's, it, we have to keep the door open to get some heat in here. Really? Yeah, because it's so cold. Well, and what is this room used for? It's the town manager's. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Does the town manager like it cold? Not this cold. No. He likes it about, I would say, 78. Well, he's going to have to wait for that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thank so, you. What was your name? Diane. Diane, what do you do here, Diane? I Diane? work for the town manager. Oh, very cool. 26 years. 26 years. Yep. And you haven't had enough. Not enough yet. No? Not yet. Well, well we appreciate you. Okay. Thank you thank so you. much. You're thank welcome. Thank you. I don't know what that is. Now, my camera says SD error. So now I fixed the overheating problem. I fixed the battery problem, I think. And now it's a SD card error. You can't win. It's incredible.
Imagine that. In Arizona, with 100 degree heat, and they're opening up the window. Yeah. They're opening up the door and let the hot air in. Council member. Look where we wound up. Oh, very interesting. That's cool. Yeah, we're on the other side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's where we just were. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, this is the uh, where? This is the back side of the room. Downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Want to go and check it out? Yeah, I guess. It's open. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Human resources director. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Well. Are you? Is it Curry? Is that how you pronounce it? That's me. It's Curry. Pleasure to meet you, Curry. Nice to meet you as well. And we have Joel Peterson, risk manager. Uh oh. Hello. How are we doing, Joel? It's managing risk. <laughs> so we have Ryan Gant, who is the associate town attorney. Assistant town attorney David, is it Udall? Udall. Udall. I like to pronounce people's names right. No worries. You got a great view from here. Thank you. Beautiful. Deputy Town Attorney Libby Shelton. Bunch of empty uh, cubicles over here. You're Libby Shelton, I guess? Yeah. Uh, Hi. How's life treating you these days? Good. <laughs> oh, we're just doing a video tour of the building. Oh, uh, okay. But thank you very much. Thanks to me. Thank you. You too. And this is Senior Assistant Town Attorney Luke Fisher's office. Luke is not in at the moment. Town attorney Jane Farrell. Hello. Hi. How are you? Is it is it Farrell? Yeah. Wanted to pronounce it correctly. Okay. And this is just the uh, end of the hallway here. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Do We're doing a video tour of the building. Um, for what? For what? For doing a tour of the building. Um, did someone let you in? Yes. Okay. Yep. You should be walking around unattended. Unattended? Yeah. Why is that? Because this is a, a um, secure area of the building. It's a secured area? Yeah. There was, we came through the door at the end of this hallway that's got no keypad or anything on it. Yeah, that's true. But how'd you get in there? We came around the other side. Diane let us in. Diane, let's yeah. let you in. Yeah. Are you just citizens? Just sit well, not just yeah. citizens. Well, you know what I mean. You know, yeah. citizens are some of the that's most important people on earth, right? Yeah. No, yeah, just citizens. Okay, yeah. well, you can't be in. This is a secure area. You can't be in here unaccompanied. <laughs> well, we're very careful about looking for signs and stuff. Like, I didn't see anything that said it was a restricted area. Well, sorry, it is. This is legal and finance and HR. Well, finance isn't on this floor anymore. Legal and HR. This is not an area where members of the public are allowed to be. Um, so maybe, area. maybe, well, maybe you need to secure it a little more then. Because we really were very vigilant. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, but we were very yeah. vigilant about looking for signage, making sure we made sure, contact with somebody. But, so. so you came in through uh, the manager's office, which Correct. is a yeah. secure area. The manager's office is yeah. secure? Yeah, yes. Well, maybe I didn't come in through the manager's office then. I didn't go into anywhere that wasn't wide open. Okay. Well, I mean, you walked in over at the manager's office. There's right. a there's a desk there. Okay. Uh, right. That's the, where you're at. The, the mayor's third, office. The floor, the third floor. You went up there. Yes. Right? Okay. Yep. And did you speak to people? In yeah. There? Oh, yeah. I just yeah. told you. Yeah. Okay. And they just told you to wander off into the building, or? Yeah. Actually, we're nice enough to open up an office for us and let us take a look around. And whose office was that? The manager's. Uh, yeah, the city manager. City manager's office. Okay. Yeah. Well. I'm not going to dispute with you that it could be better marked or better, but this is a secure area. That's well, I follow that's the signage. Line. I follow yeah. what's posted. Right. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave this area. There's parts of the building that are public 
that you can be in, but okay. this isn't one of them. So you, uh, maybe we did you a favor and discovered a little security flaw here today. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, so maybe mm -hmm. that should be addressed, I guess. Yeah, you're probably right. Right? Yeah, because yeah, we did literally just walked in and we were trying to follow the rules. I don't, if I see a keypad, I don't even try to open the door. Sure. Sure, if something understand. says restricted, I don't yeah, so even go that way. You're right that this, if you came down this way, past that kind of uh, breezeway. Right. Out, out there, yep, that's right. how we came through. Yes, right. that is And not, even when we went into the manager slash mayor's office, whatever mm -hmm. that is, there, there's nothing that says restricted on there. Right, because people do go in there to meet with the manager or the mayor right, or whatever right. like that. So right. you can go into that from the elevator area into that doorway. Um, you don't have to have a badge. Go and we've just spoken to numerous and go people. to the lobby that. there. And, um, but that's, you're not supposed to be able to, and I'm not disputing anything that you've said about why you did it. Okay. But they shouldn't have let you walk around and come down this hallway because this area is restricted. If you had gone on the other side, right. it's badge access only. Badge access only. Yeah, I don't know. I can I, I can show you. Sure. And actually, what's this side? Just before we leave. Excuse me, where are you going? Just taking yeah. a look at the office here. All right. This is a restricted area. Do you know you're the only person to say that though in the entire well, building? Well, I'm the town attorney. Maybe I understand that better than some people do. Well, maybe. Yeah. yeah so I don't come know. on. Yeah. So you're going to show me where it says this is restricted? I'm going to show you where you can only get into this area through badge access. Well, anybody could tell me that. I mean, it should be posted, right? I'm not going to get into that with you again. I already told you you're Well, right. then I don't want to have could, a conversation with you. I told you it could already be, th mm -hmm. that you're right. It could be better. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's no reason to be, you know, I might have just, I might have just, you know, I'm a nice guy. So uh, I might have alerted you to something that might prevent a not nice and guy I coming in. with you, didn't mm -hmm. I? I'm not, well, I don't I'm know. You said you don't want to discuss it. Well, because we already discussed it when we were back there, and I agreed with you. So, okay. Um, yeah, I'm a nice person too, but I didn't you can't say you wander were. around in the legal department. So come on. Which way are we going to go back this out the way, way I, I came in? I'm going to show you where the badge access is. Hi, well, Eric. I didn't. I didn't come in that way. Yeah, but I was going to show you that this is a secured area, and why it's a secured area. Apparently, they came in through the manager's office and walked around here, which I agree doesn't have badge access, doesn't have a sign. Yeah, this is a secure area. But this is a secure. Well, area. Uh, what I was. I'm sorry, you're Rick. My my name is Eric Montague. Eric, I'm sorry. Yeah. My name's Jason. Nice to meet you, Eric. Pleasure. So what I was just discussing was though, if that's the case, because we're very serious about not going into restricted areas. We look for keypads, sure. we look for signage, and there was nothing saying that we couldn't walk back here. So I'm just pointing out that maybe that's something you should address if you don't want people coming back and here. And I, I affirmed with you were back there, I think, well, I was for speaking bringing that to our attention. Yeah, we appreciate for that clarity, but if, if we could actually have you uh, walk towards the front of the building, that'd be appreciated. Yeah, sure. Point. Yeah, well, I, I would rather go out the way I came in. Actually, I'd rather you go this way, would, would be appreciated. To have you, you want me to go through your restricted access? Well, this is the most direct um, way that you can exit this this portion of the building instead of walking all the way back through. Hey, oh, I'm it. sorry, what is your position here? I'm the deputy town manager here. Deputy town okay, manager. so good. No, and Absolutely. I just hope, so, well, I'm going to walk out here. Absolutely. I'm not going to give you a hard time, but what I, what I would suggest is, she's already heard it enough, but what I would suggest is that you put up some signs and alert people to it being restricted or maybe put up an additional keypad here. Thank you for sharing. Based on this beautiful building, I'm sure the town can afford Absolutely. it, right? If, you, if you'd follow me, that'd be appreciated. Sure. It's a shame that you have to tell people that they're in a restricted area and then throw them out. It'd be easier to just do a little ounce of prevention, you know? No, I'm just walking you to, to an unrestricted oh. area. That's all I'm doing. We appreciate it. So this is so you have a reception desk here, but this is restricted. Yeah, if I could actually have. How does that? Where does it say restricted here? But it's secured, badged access. So we appreciate you pointing that out and, and having this conversation. We truly do. Uh, we'll make those those clarifications. So you're going to have some signage put up and. Well, we appreciate you sharing that, with, and we'll we'll make whatever changes we believe are necessary. But thanks for. Well, because if you're not going to if you're not going to put signage up and create a restricted area, then how do I know you're not just telling me it's a restricted area? We've already shared with you. We appreciate you sharing that information with us. We'll make whatever adjustments that we need to. Do you have a business them. card on you? Uh, I do not. You don't, deputy manager. You don't have a business I don't card. Carry them with me all the time. So can I wait? Can I wait for one? one? Can you get one for me? Eric, right, can you get me a business card, please? 
I'll say please very nicely. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. We'll, we'll get you a card. We will get you. So a I'll card. wait right here for it. We'll get you a card. So I'll wait here for it. If if you would allow me to shut the door, I will get you a card. So that's what I meant. So I'm going to wait here for it. you. I'm going to bring you a card. I will get you a card. Okay, very good. Wow, the attitude of these people. Fish be thanking us for discovering a little security flaw here. And uh, just so you guys know, I did walk out of here because if they're telling you there are two different things legally. Uh, there is a uh, posted notice, which would be a sign on the door saying this is a restricted area. And then there is actual notice, which is when somebody like Eric or the town attorney tell you that you're in a restricted area and you need to leave. Um, so if you are given proper, proper legal notice and uh, they are considering this a restricted area, you know, there is a... Uh, you're not supposed to be back there, um, but as far as receiving posted notice, we never got that. I don't see anything that's so restricted. And that other one even tried to tell us that this manager's office is restricted. Definitely not the case, so we can be in here. The sign says your town. So this is not a restricted area. As promised. Thank you, I appreciate that. No, no problem. Have okay. a great day. And this is not restricted, just to be clear. You're fine where you're at. So where, the restricted area starts there? Batched access. So, well, um, the, the, the door's wide open. Right, so so we, we, we've there. had this conversation, you've had, uh, provided... I don't know why you're price. being short like that. You should be uh, thanking uh, me for discovering your little problem. You could have had somebody march back there and do something awful. I've already thanked you for bringing that to All right, attention. well, I mean, you know, you're just being very curt. And, you know, that's, you know, well, the, the, the sign says your town. It, I mean, do you agree with that statement? Thank you so much. For yeah, yeah, thank you. We're going to keep an eye on you there, Eric. Absolutely. And we'll follow up and make sure the signs are up. Wow. Wow. So, so they, uh, they just had the whole town staff throw a fit, and then he goes right back there and leaves the door wide open again. Right. So uh, that gentleman's name is Eric Montague. He is the deputy town manager. Yeah, let me turn my light on. He is the deputy town manager for the town of Marana. Uh, let's see here. There's his contact information. If uh, you have any suggestions or thoughts you might want to give uh, to Eric or any of the staff here, um, we always do ask you. Please do us a favor and don't uh, don't call off the obnoxious and cursing and yelling at people. Don't do that on our behalf. Uh, we would ask you not to do that. Uh, but if you have any official business or uh, productive um, comments or questions, you have every right to maybe seek redress with your government, and uh, we would invite you to uh, contact them and get your questions answered or uh, have your suggestions heard. Thank you. Yes, sir. So uh, down here, see, that's the, this door on the second floor is the same as the mayor's office upstairs. But this one they have uh, very obviously keyed access only, and the door is closed. See, Eric's simply listening to our conversation up there once in a while we're talking about. He doesn't want to have the conversation, he just wants to eavesdrop. <laughs> I never him, him and some other guy are up there staring at us through the window. Oh, now another woman's up there. I don't understand people who uh, are in public service and behave that way. I think it's pretty... I uh, think it's strange. Pretty strange, yeah. I mean, if this was my office, I'd be very grateful that somebody just, uh, and you know what, I'm sure they're well aware of their little security situation there, for sure. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing well, like yourself. Good. Good, good. It brings you folks we're, here. We're looking for a couple of guys with cameras. Oh. Right. And so are you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just ask name and badge number so I know I'm speaking with? Appreciate it. Badge number 304. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yep. that. Yep. Brings you folks fun. Here. We're doing a little video tour of the building here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there's just certain parts of the building that are secure. I know you were up there. You probably didn't realize it. Um, but just make sure you don't walk into secure Well, I'll tell you what, it's, and I appreciate you saying that, yeah. but it's, it's hard to make sure because the, they don't have proper signage and proper directional signage okay. on. Uh, for example, you walk into the mayor's office, yep. which is unrestricted access. Okay. Right? They have a public reception area right there. There's no signs on the door saying you can't go in. There is no red little keypad situation. Okay. Uh, so public's invited in there. We yeah. went in, met a woman named Diane, okay. who showed us the uh, assistant manager's office. Okay. Asked us if we wanted to go in and take a look. We did. She said he likes to keep his door open because it gets cold. Okay. I can't Got believe it. that. That's the biggest tale I've been told all day. 
But so then we went through there, and she said, all right, have a, good, you know, have a look around, enjoy yourself. So we walked back through there, came out this way, went in this door up here that has no signs on it, no key okay. pad, no nothing. All right. Fair and then uh, I had who I believe was the uh, town attorney come out okay. and tell us we were in a restricted area. But uh, you know, I don't just believe everything everybody tells me. Yeah. I've been around the block once or twice. Exactly. All these gray hairs. Well, but but if you're invited in by someone, you wouldn't know whether it's restricted or not, correct? No, and I, okay. even if she didn't invite me, and I would have walked in because there's no signage that says you can't go in there. Okay. And it's being that it's a public building, yep. we're very vigilant about exactly. Obeying restricted areas, we don't. I'm, I have no interest in going into restricted areas. But if something's not restricted to me, that's an invitation to come in. Absolutely. Right? Okay. All right. We'll so that's check. what you got here today, yeah. sir. All right. Well, we just wanted to make contact with you guys and see what you folks were doing. Very cool. All right. Well, you got okay. it. You got the full story. All right. Take yeah, care. And I hope have they do one. follow up and put some signage yes, on that kind of thing. I'm pretty sure they will. Yeah, because what I was saying was. Because right. you know, and I'm, I'm repeating myself, but we're a couple of nice guys. Yeah. But you know, somebody else can wander back there. So maybe I. This was a fruitful visit here today. Absolutely. Maybe they've uh, discovered a little security flaw. And somebody yep. can address that. And no, because I get the restricted areas. Exactly. But lessons, they, they lessons, lessons learned, right? Lessons learned. Yes, sir. All righty. Take All right. care. You guys take care. Thank you. Right, you do the same. Thank you. Appreciate it. Or hide down the stairs. <laughs> I saw. Them. They're very stealthy. All right. So, uh, what do you say? Well, this is the second floor still. So. so I don't know if you want to go back down to the. I wonder what the uh, conversation is up there. Yeah, I don't know. Are they back in the restricted area? So that's great for uh, those secured areas like a fishbowl, it's all glass. Yeah. Yeah, if you had a telephone lens, I could sit here and take pictures of everything on their desk. Yeah. On both sides. Not what we're interested in, though. That's not why we're here. All right, let's go downstairs. Cool. Nothing exciting here. They went to have their conversation in the restricted area. Well, the other thing I also want to point out is, is maybe if security was at their post here. Yeah, and if they had anybody, uh, yeah, somebody could have uh, at the desk there. Had the conversation with us before we walked up. So you have an unmanned security post the entire time we've been here, which is how long? Forty-five, 45 minutes. And uh, restricted areas that are, have doors wide open, no signage, standing or restricted. Interesting situation here today. And they didn't have any issues with us in the public area, so that's good. No. Well, all right, guys. You saw how that went here at the Marana, Arizona Municipal Complex. Um, at, uh, I guess this is basically like the town hall part of the complex, and then they have courts and uh, parks and rack type stuff over there, I guess. And uh, maybe we'll make that a separate video because we've already been here for about 50 minutes. But uh, it was an interesting video. Uh, nobody really gave us a hard ta time about filming per se. Uh, but, you know, they should really have uh, areas that they don't want members of the public going into uh, marked off so that uh, members of the public know that. And, uh, you know, maybe they could have been a little nicer about it. Uh, when AP was recommending they put up some signage um, because it's really a good recommendation you know if they're going to be throwing people out of those areas if they end up back there um, 
they should have some kind of signage before you go in there and instead of just coming back there and throwing you out like you were supposed to know somehow but uh, that's about it for this one contact info is always in the description uh, everywhere we go so I'll make sure I put that in the description here and uh, if you guys appreciate our videos and you want to help out and support the channel the best way to do that is to like comment subscribe uh, check out my other social medias and all that stuff and uh, See you, have, have a good day. one enjoy the tour thank you and um, that's about it for this one uh, so watch and watch me out with Amagansic Press here in Marana, Arizona See you on the next one, guys. Oh. Uh, but I don't know if that's your training or that's just your mom did a good job raising you. <laughs> Probably a little bit of both. Yeah, appreciate it. But no, we really sincerely appreciate you because, you know, there's a lot of people who get put into very bad situations yeah, yeah. Uh, that they don't need to be in or Absolutely. don't intend to be and, in. And I appreciate you guys being professional and understanding as well. So. But right back at Passion. you. Right. And before I let you go, just, I know it's hot. Just one quick question. I yes, always sir. like to ask law enforcement yeah. when I have conversation with them. Yeah. What do you think, because uh, you're coming across as one of the good guys here. Yeah. Right? You know, there's bad photographers, good photographers, bad law enforcement, good law enforcement. Yep. So representing the good guys, as I feel you are, what do you think is a good police officer's worst enemy? Good police officer's worst enemy? Um, not being able to be humble and remaining calm under stress. That is a problem. Yeah. But I think your worst enemy is a bad cop. Yeah. Because bad cops are out there, you know, people have a bitter experience. It's like when you burn your hand on the stove, you don't ever want to touch it again. Exactly. So, you know, one bad cop can start creating a lot of distrust Absolutely. with the citizens. Yep. And I see you're a captain. Yep. So I hope that your attitude and your training, your professionalism is trickling down through the ranks there because we need the good guys to really step up because the bad guys aren't doing us any favors and they're not doing you guys any favors It definitely either. is. If you, if you look at Marana PD, we got a, a lot of good men and women who work here. Very good. And same, same characteristics. So. And you have 20 years on the force? Oh. Uh, not, not quite yet. Almost there. Almost there? Yeah. Well, I hope you have another 20 if you yeah. want them. Thanks. I appreciate it. No, I appreciate you, man. Thank you have a good day. Thank Stay you. safe out there. Yeah, thank you. All right.